time for the latest on our weather right now. And Brian's been tracking uh, what we could expect for the rest of this New Year's Day. A lot of people probably hanging out inside this evening, just recovering from yesterday. <laughs> I'm sure they are yeah. and after a long break as well. A lot of folks have to get back to work and school tomorrow. Uh, it was a typical start to your January with some cold, frosty temperatures. Uh, two degrees up north it was 14 in Green Bay, 16 here in Milwaukee and Madison. We did have a few single digits here locally. Uh, it was eight in Beaver Dam and Watertown, seven in Green Lake. It was 10 in Waukesha. Just a little bit of a breeze put those wind chills close to zero. Uh, the sunshine today, though, did a couple of things. It helped warm us up, obviously, and helped melt some of that ice off the sidewalks and sidewalks. Streets. The temperature in Waukesha is still at 36 degrees with a south wind at 13 miles per hour. Here in Milwaukee, uh, we had some clouds roll in late afternoon, set up for a beautiful sunset. Don't worry about the clouds, not expecting any precipitation tonight. And if it would be precip, it would probably be some drizzle and light rain because we're still at 38 degrees with a southerly wind. That wind was gusty today and it still is in most places anywhere from 20 to almost 36 miles per hour. Look at these gusts in Whitewater and Lake Geneva, a gust of 32 in Port Washington. That's dropping wind chills into the mid to upper 20s. Feels like 30 in Milwaukee, 25 in Beaver Dam, as well as Burlington. So the clouds have moved in, but any precip has been in northern Wisconsin, the UP, and extreme northern Minnesota. They're seeing some light snow. We will stay mostly cloudy now for the next couple of days as we're in this warm sector of the storm system. The southwest wind, the cloud cover tonight helps keep us warmer. This cold front to the west gets here by tomorrow evening, and with that, drizzle. That's all it's bringing. There's not that much moisture in the atmosphere, and this will push on through and drop our temperatures back into the 30s after a mild day tomorrow. Sunset this evening at 427, so about almost an hour ago. 37 degrees later this evening, still windy and mostly cloudy. Tomorrow morning, that cloud cover and breeze keeps us in the low to mid 30s. Our normal high is 29, so it's going to be a mild start to the day. Kids heading back to school should be decent at the bus stop. A little breezy. But that still puts wind chills only into the upper 20s. So breezy to start the day off, mostly cloudy conditions. By afternoon, the winds die down a little bit and it's still cloudy out there, but temperatures will be in the mid 40s. Cold front comes through tomorrow evening with that drizzle. You get sunshine for Friday, a light northwest wind, and that cools us back down uh, into the 30s. But tomorrow, way above normal. We're talking 44 degrees for the high temperature, some sunshine and some cloud cover. But once again, no precipitation. You get into Saturday, you could see some light snow, uh, light snow south of us down into Chicago and portions of Indiana. For us, we'll just get the clouds from it by afternoon, some sunshine. Sunday, on the other hand, now looks like we could get some light snow in here uh, early afternoon, maybe mixing with some rain as temperatures uh, start to warm back up. But tomorrow, 44 degrees. Then we cool down on Friday at 35, 32 on Saturday. 38 with that rain snow mix on Sunday. It'll be a little breezy as well, so it won't feel all that nice. And then next week, kind of getting back to where we should be this time of the year. Temperature is close to 30 degrees, lows in the teens, and still no big storm system brewing uh, out there whatsoever.